Hello, my loves. So I'm sorry I'm running a little bit late on the weekend reads. I was really not feeling well yesterday. I don't know if it was allergies or what, but I'm here. So let's get this done. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, <coughs> guys, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. A couple really quick announcements. Get into your pre-shuffle message, and then we are going to get into your reading. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance do we have for my Pisces, please? What messages do my Pisces need to hear? January 15th through the 19th, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Pisces today, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Pisces, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Okay, my loves. So Pisces, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner under this reading. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and this month I'm going to be giving away jewelry too, which I'm super excited about. So the winners are always announced on the first of the month. I dedicate a video solely to announcing the winners. So Pisces, if you're currently a subscriber and you did not see that uh, video announcing the winners for January, it will be in the description box below, okay? Click that notification bell, guys, so you know when that video posts. Um, I am not taking personal readings right now. I have way too many readings to get done, and I haven't been feeling that great, so I have to put a hold on that for now. Um, you can still visit my website, www.thetaroflight.com. If you're interested in any of my decks, I do have over 100 decks. They all have links to purchase if you're interested. Today, we're going to be using the Sacred Rose Tarot, the Romance Angels, the Vintage or Oracle, the Quantum Oracle, and the Moonology Oracle. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. Pisces, this could be your energy, your person's energy. Um, it could be a friend situation, a family situation. It could be love. I mean, it's intended to be a love reading. Um, now, if this doesn't resonate, please look into your rising moon and Venus signs. You can find that on cafeastrology.com. So Pisces, someone here is done. <laughs> someone here has had like enough of a situation big time. Uh, someone here is deciding to take that risk, walk out the door, take that leap of faith. Uh, for some of you, you may be married. Okay. Uh, for others of you, you may be living together. Um, for some of you, I feel strongly like you may be very well off financially or just very responsible, very stable. And you may be with somebody who is, um, cheating. You may be with somebody who is being very sneaky or trying to be uh, trying to get away with something, um, trying to use you, whether it's financially or trying to get you to put all the work in while they do nothing. Um, now, guys, this can be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be your kids. Um, you know, someone here is just really over the top with uh, someone's just way too spoiled, way too spoiled. Okay. So guys, you are starting to realize that the time has come to put a little bit of distance between you and this person. Uh, you know, I, I want to say either things change or you're out, but I really feel like you've already made the decision to uh, be done with this. You've already made the decision to, to end this, to walk away. Um, I feel like you're in a very cold and lonely place for whoever is doing all of this giving. It's, it's becoming really lonely and it's becoming really um, frustrating very lonely and very frustrating and you just want to get away from this um and the memories that come with it i feel like every day that you wake up and you're in this situation you know this could even be a situation where you're living with your parents and every day it's like groundhog day like nothing changes people are just taking advantage of you you know uh, it could be you know parents children it could be husband wife it could be co-workers it could be a boss it could be anybody someone here is just taking way too much advantage and um you're done pisces you're just done whether this means you go to file for a divorce or whether this means you're just, you know, spontaneously moving out the seven of wands, overcoming challenges. Yeah, what I'm actually getting here, I mean, look at this. 
we have all these wands coming at you and and this is a very like over like you're about to beat the crap out of all of these wands this is i want this i need this come here pay for this do this come over here let's go over here do over here you know you're just ready like you're done you're ready you got this club in your hand and you're just ready to whack the crap out of everybody like you just you're done you're done you're done. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you. I almost like, as I was doing the pre-shuffle, I actually just breathed this sigh of relief. Like, you're just so over the situation. You're just way over it. So, Pisces, if you're the one giving a lot, this is how you feel. Or, Pisces, if you're the one sitting back and taking from somebody or, you know, being a little lazy, you know, lamping, just taking advantage of a situation that's going to end pretty soon because someone here is getting really tired really yeah see behind a mask so I, what i'm feeling here with behind a mask under the deck is that someone here is wearing one mask like oh i can't work or i can't do this on my own or i don't know how to do this laundry i don't know how to work the washing machine you know this you know what i'm saying uh take a bus i don't know the bus schedule i don't even know how to take a bus you know like people are just wearing a mask of like you know just being in need when they're not they're self-sufficient they can do things on their own and you know you're just tired of it we have nature so Pisces, I am feeling like you're ready for peace because when it comes down to nature, what do we really get when we're in nature? We're free, we're in peace, um, and we're energized. We get energized by nature. So I'm getting for some of you, you're just really tired and you're feeling the need for a break. Some of you may be going away. Some of you may be running off to a cabin somewhere. <laughs> like you're just, you know what I'm saying? You just need peace and quiet. Nature is quiet. It's quiet. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. So Pisces, if you know that things need to change and you have a vision of what that change is, you're, you're not letting it go. The answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming. Maybe you've been contemplating for quite some time. Maybe you've been contemplating for quite some time as to what you want to do. And this weekend, something is going to like really just spark the situation where you're like, okay, this was the icing on the cake. This is what I needed to take that step forward. But I definitely see someone walking out of the door and it might be very quick, very sudden, um, it, it, but it's a final ending. Like that you're leaving the past behind. It's definitely a final ending. Pisces, you're going to be on this side. Your person on this side, feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. Whatever, take what resonates. Leave the rest, okay? So we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this could be some of you committing to yourselves or it could be some of you where like maybe you guys have met a third party. That's a possibility too. We have the five of cups, this, ooh, the five of cups, the six of cups, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, guys, wow. <sighs> guys, for some of you, you may be in a really nasty situation or relationship where you guys may have someone else. Or, you know, like I said, someone here may be cheating. Someone here may be uh, moving more towards the third party. Because what I'm seeing here with the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups, someone here is losing something. Someone here is, is loss, re regret, maybe feeling guilty. And with the Six of Cups, this is an X. This is an X. Um, with Express Your Love, we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So we could be dealing with an actual fire sign or, you know, a lot of times, especially with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands attached, this could be a representation of the other woman. And with the Two of Swords, somebody has a decision to make. So what I feel here is you're leaving behind the X to move towards the new person here. Or this could be your partner that is move, you know, be becoming closer with the third party and you're starting to realize it, Pisces and you're over it okay with the oracle here we have joyous fun and we have taking steps someone here is moving someone here is taking steps to go towards what they enjoy what they see as a good time what they see as you know the queen of wands is very fun very exciting very sexual very entertaining they like to go out drinks you know it'd be in the middle of, of like you know what i'm saying the, the hottest events and all that other stuff that they, they're a very fun energy to be around um, so let's go ahead and clarify this. Whew, the Ten of Swords popped out. Yeah, there's going to be an ending here. 
Okay, why is the Five of Cups here, please, Spirit? Strength in the reverse, okay? Strength in the reverse simply means I can't take it anymore. I'm too vulnerable, I'm too tired, and I have to let go. Why is the Six of Cups here, please, Spirit? You're no longer wanting reconciliation with this ex. You're no longer wanting to give this person a second chance. You're just no longer wanting to do it. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please, Spirit? The death card. Yeah, something is dying and something new is beginning here. Something is ending and something new is beginning here. You guys are definitely taking that leap of faith. Someone is definitely walking out the door. Why is the Queen of Wands here, please, Spirit? The Ten of, uh, excuse me, the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you have been trapped in a situation and with the Six of Swords here, you're leaving this toxicity and moving on. Um, the Queen of Wands could just simply mean that with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands, it can literally just simply mean that you're moving. And with the Queen of Wands, it could just mean that you're going to be more confident in taking care of yourself. Um, with engagement and express your love, you could be more committed to doing uh, what you need to do and giving more love to yourself. Or it could simply mean that you are currently in a situation where you're stuck and you do not want to give this ex a second chance, but something new is beginning here because we have the death card and the ace of wands. So the ace of wands is a new lover, a new beginning in communication here. And um, I feel like you're, you're developing stronger feelings for that other person. And with the two of swords here, a decision is being made. You're at a crossroads. Spirit, tell me about the two of swords. Page of swords in the reverse. Yeah. One person, I feel like the person that has lied to you, um, or maybe you lied about having two people. Now, it can be vice versa, Pisces. So if this doesn't resonate with you, then this is what your person is going through. Okay. So someone here is making a decision and with the page of swords um, in the reverse, someone here may be unaware that they had a decision to make. Yeah, three of cups, three of cups. Someone here is choosing one person. Someone here is choosing one person. Now, on your person side here, we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Interesting. So we have two of pentacles. We have the strength card. We have the page of wands. We have the eight of swords. We have the seven of cups. Okay, so this is the person that's cheating and moving forward with a third party. This is the person that's walking away. So we have free yourself, okay? We have free yourself with romantic feelings. You may love this person or care about this person, but you're still freeing yourself from the situation. Two of pentacles. This person is being juggled with someone else quite possibly and with the strength card, they've been holding back from reacting to this with the page of wands and the eight of swords communication is going to come out here saying listen i have, may love you i may love you but i can't be trapped in this anymore with the seven of cups i can't just be an option so pisces for whoever is walking away because there's a third party situation this is the person walking away this is the person who's cheating okay so someone here is moving forward with a third party because there's more commitment and love there and you someone here is saying listen i need to free myself as much as I love you, I can't just be an option. Why is the two of pentacles here, please, spirit? Yeah. Someone is, is just letting down their walls and speaking their truth. Listen, this isn't working with the two of pentacles. Like, I know there's something else in the picture. I know the truth with the sun card under the deck. And I need to go. I can't be here. Why is the strength card in the reverse? Queen of Cups, Piscean Energy. So maybe you're this side, Pisces. Um, Piscean Energy, I feel like you've been holding back your emotions for quite some time, but now you're going to speak up. Why is the Page of Wands here, please, Spirit? The King of Swords. And when you speak, you're going to speak with authority. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. When you speak, you're going to speak with authority. I'm withdrawing from this situation. The Eight of Swords, I know something is going on and I don't want to be stuck in this anymore. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please, Spirit? 
Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You're leaving this person out in the cold because you do not trust them anymore. This person may have hurt you a lot in the past. You may have invested a lot into this connection. Um, but with the Seven of Cups, you're just done. Why is the Seven of Cups? You don't, yeah, you don't want to be an option. This person is, you know, cheating on you and you're, you just feel like an option. You just feel like an option. But I feel like it's mutual. I got to be honest with you, Pisces. I feel like it's mutual. I feel like you're walking away and this person, I, I hate to say it, they may feel a little uh, guilty. They may feel, you know, bad or whatever. They may feel like a little vulnerable because they lost you. But overall, they don't really want to give this a second chance either. They're moving on with somebody else. So we have here deception and new beginnings. Yeah, Pisces, for whoever for whoever is walking away, this is that person's side and this is the person that's moving towards somebody else, okay? So we have new beginnings and deception. Someone was in a third party and they're choosing one person and moving forward with that new person. So there's an ending here, a new beginning, but I do feel like it's mutual. I do feel like it's mutual. So Pisces, if you're the one walking away from this person, they don't mind because they're already pretty much in another relationship okay um you know uh, and you know pisces if it's you that is in a third party like you have someone else if this person leaves you're gonna feel bad but you're you already have someone else so it doesn't really matter why is uh, what is the challenge here we have the sun the challenge is the truth coming out and the challenge is uh, happiness. Everybody wants to be happy here. What's crossing the situation is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, moving forward uh, towards the person that you love or the situation that you have love for, okay? And the outcome here, we have the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody is very selfish here, defending themselves and protecting what they want. I feel that someone here is protecting. So Pisces, let's just say the person here that is leaving because they don't want to be in a third party situation, they're protecting their heart and their wants and needs. And this person is protecting this other connection that they're in. Yeah, see, the answer that you need is coming. I feel that... Um, yeah, I feel like some of you may be getting away, maybe going into nature because I also see nature here too, okay? So some of you may be going away for a little bit of a break from this, but I feel that it's mutual, honestly, here Pisces. I, I really do. I feel that there's going to be a separation. It's going to be mutual and that's it, okay? Because you don't want, someone here doesn't want to deal with a third party situation and the other person has already moved on. All right, guys, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Drop a comment. Let me know how this reading uh, resonated with you. I love reading your comments. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.